Hello Amazon and welcome to Amazing Arms with Marcia. Today we're going to do an amazing 30 minute arm workout so you have some strong arms. We're going to give people a minute just to pop on. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Marcia Prince. I'm co-founder of Plant Chicks. It's where we, where we help you get off the diet and live a sustainable lifestyle. So besides trying to find how to eat right, we definitely believe in moving your body. Whether whatever exercise you absolutely love to do, we want to help you accomplish that. From yoga, to strength training, to cardio, to flexibility, you name it, the plant chicks are here for you. Okay, so for this 30 minute arm workout, you will need either dumbbells, bands, or cans of beans. So let me show you. You wanna make sure you have a set of dumbbells. Make sure you have at least a couple different sets of dumbbells. Um, I, I go from five pounds all the way to 10, because we're, we're gonna be doing four sets. Um, if you don't have any dumbbells, right here we have cans of beans, okay? Super, super easy to do. I mean, at least you have to have some type of resistant. Or if you don't have any dumbbells or cans, we actually have resistant bands, okay? So this is going to be, we're gonna do six arm exercises, four sets. The first set is basically gonna be a warm up set. The second set's gonna be a medium set. And the last two sets are going to be heavier sets, okay? Easy, easy. All right, so let me just, Wait just a second here to see who's on. Hello, hello. I see four people are on here right now. Introduce yourself, let me know where you're from and if you're doing the arm workout. I wanna know who's on here with me. So if you, um, since I'll be working out, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Jackie is here moderating the chat. So she will be on there. She's behind the scenes. It's like the Wizard of Oz, she's behind the curtain. <laughs> so in case you're wondering who is on Marcia's chat, it is Jackie. She's the other co-founder of Plant Chicks. She had an amazing yoga workout yesterday, and today is arms, and then tomorrow we have meal prep. But she will continue to do, I think she has two next week, and Amazon Live will have another yoga workout, and she will have a dessert one. So that's gonna be delicious. Hey, Sarah from Moxie. Hello, you found the link. Yes, let's do this workout. So if you're just joining us, because I know we have like six people come on, people are starting to slowly pop on, you'll need dumbbells, whatever variation works for you, from lightweight to heavy. I have from five pounds to 10 pounds over here. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, you want to use resistance bands, okay? These work just as well. And if you don't have any of those, cans of beans. <laughs> this works just as good. As long as you have some type of resistance, you're golden, okay? Um, if you're new to Amazon Live, down below me is the carousel. It is everything that I am wearing. So everybody always asks when I'm working out. I know it's kind of hard today because I try to do upper body to keep it closer, but I have a super cute little uh, teal workout bra on, this mesh shirt, because you know when it gets hot in summer, I live in Texas, these mesh shirts come in handy. That way you could still breathe, but you don't have to like show some stomach if you don't want to. And then I have the matching pants, the leggings, of course. So everything you see below, I have my dumbbells. I actually got them off Amazon too. So everything that I'm wearing and what I'm using today is in the carousel below. So if you don't have any, go ahead and purchase it. It makes it super easy so that you have it for next time. Okay, so who's ready to begin this workout? <laughs> I hope you guys are in position. All right, so we're gonna begin. I'm gonna push my timer, and then we're gonna go, just go ahead and go through the workout. Like I said, it's an easy 30 minute workout. We're gonna do six exercises, four sets. The reps does not matter because it's all gonna be different. It's gonna be off time. So I'm just gonna talk you through the exercises, all right? So first off first, let's go ahead and I'm gonna hit my timer. All right, so before we grab the weights, let's go ahead and warm up our arms. We're gonna take our arms straight out and we're going old school. We are going to circle forward. So we're gonna circle forward for 30 seconds. We're just gonna warm up the arms. So it's super important before you lift heavy, you warm up any part of your body, okay? So when it comes to warming up, you wanna make sure your blood is flowing. As you can hear, I'm talking, you know, just getting just that energy moving and going before you begin your exercise. Okay, we're gonna take it back for 30 seconds. So just small movements. 
Now this actually warms up your joints around your shoulders. So a lot of times these small exercises get discounted and people are like, ah, they don't do anything. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> these are working all the little ligaments and tendons around your shoulders and we're prepping you for heavy work, okay? All right, so one more little warm up here. We're just gonna take it forward and back, forward and back. So you, you can cross them, cross, back, cross. So just go opposite, see up, down like this, and then cross it the other way. So we're just warming up the shoulders because we are going to be doing shoulder work today. Oops, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> when you're trying to talk, it's like trying to chew gum and talk at the same time, right? And then you can't walk. It's like doing all those things together. Okay, so now that we are warmed up, we're gonna have intermittent dance parties in between. So get ready, we're gonna have some fun. Let's grab our dumbbells. So grab a lighter weight of dumbbells because we want you to actually warm up the muscle. You never want to lift on a cold muscle. You can actually rip it. <laughs> so take, it can be three, five, whatever, is a lightweight warm up for you. This happens to be five pounds. So we are going to do lateral side raises. So we're gonna bring our, exer our exercise, our dumbbells, and then we're just gonna bring them up, hold it for a second, and bring it down slow. So you wanna make sure you have mind-muscle connection and you're gonna bring it down slow. So when you bring them up, bring them up slow and controlled, hold it parallel to the ground and release slowly. We really want you to activate that shoulder instead of just flying like this with momentum. We do not want you to do that. So just keep making your way through parallel, squeeze the shoulder, feel that mind-muscle connection, bring it down. You're gonna bring it up, squeeze and you're gonna come down. Good, super easy, super simple. You're warming it up, because we're about to get heavier later. <laughs> Shoulders are one of those exercises where, I mean, personally, I can't do a lot of heavy weight on it. I do lighter, I do more weight with my biceps and triceps than I do with my shoulders. And I'm sure some of you, if you guys weight training for a while, you can feel me, you feel that, huh? Okay, let's do two more, bring it down, and then one, hold for a second, and then release. Okay, so we are going to do a bicep curl. So bicep curl, I'm gonna face this way just to show you. Um, your palms are going to face up and forward, and then we're gonna bring it up and squeeze and release slowly. We're gonna bring up the dumbbell, squeeze it, and release. So none of this, don't move your entire body. We don't wanna know the ABCs, abs tight, B, bring the shoulder blades back, C, chest up. So we just wanna make sure really concentrate on the mind-muscle connection, bring it up and squeeze, really slow. Up and squeeze. All right, this is just a warm up, we're doing good. <laughs> this is the easy part, guys. This is easy. All right, so bringing it down slow and up. I'm kind of zoomed in a little too much. <laughs> That's okay. So we're gonna bring it up and squeeze. We're gonna go for three more. Squeeze for three, bring it down, two, and then last one, squeeze and release. All right, now we're gonna do shoulder press. So what you're gonna do is bring your arms at a 90 degree and you are going to lift it up all the way straight. Don't hit your dumbbells. You just want right, up. make sure your wrists are above your shoulders okay so we're just gonna bring 90 degrees up 90 degrees and up so here we go we're gonna bring it up so squeeze and release bring it up and squeeze release very good super easy we're just warming up the muscle warming up the shoulders nice so I gotta tell you a funny story <laughs> It's always these childhood stories. We're gonna go for three more, and three, and I'll tell you the story. Mm -hmm. Two, oh, there's an ambulance. I hope they're okay. And one. All right, we're gonna start with the next exercise. When I was a kid, I was super, super skinny, and this guy said to me, he goes, what are those strings hanging from your shirt? And I'm literally looking for some strings, and turns out 
he meant my arms. <laughs> my arms are so skinny. I was like, and I never forgot the strings hanging from my shirt. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I gotta have nice arms, amazing arms, because he's obviously telling me my arms are skinny. But you guess what? It's genetic, and that's okay too. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do tricep kickback. So what you're gonna do is you're going to bend over, have your arms come up like at a 90 degree, and then you're gonna kick back. Bring it back to 90 and down. So we're gonna bring it up, squeeze, and down. Now we're gonna keep it up now. So we're gonna go squeeze, hang it there, release. Squeeze, release, just like that. So these are tricep kickbacks. It gets the back of the arm. So if you ladies wanna to tone up the back of the arm and you're thinking, oh, I've got that really back, like that, women call it bat wings, like the older you get, over 40, you really gotta lift some weights if you really wanna tone that area. That's when you start seeing that. You're like, ooh, what is that? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go for four more. And three, two, and one. Good. All right, so we have done lateral side raises, bicep curls, shoulder press, tricep kickbacks. <laughs> You're like, whoa. We're gonna do frontal raises. This is exercise number five. Bring it up and release. Up and squeeze. So it's just gonna look like this. Bring your weights parallel to the floor and down. Remember, you want that mind-muscle connection. Keep it slow and controlled. This is how you build muscle. Do you know it takes eight weeks to be strength fit? So if you're just new to lifting, working out with weights, or doing any type of strength training, it takes eight weeks. And that's of consistency. <laughs> so you gotta be consistent. Okay, we're gonna go four more. Good. Three, you got that, lift them up. Two, and one. Good. How are you guys feeling? Good, good, good. All right, last exercise, and then we're gonna grab a little bit heavier, or you can stay with the same one. We're gonna bend over, let's see. I'm like, hold on here. All right, make sure you're bent over about like this. Not too much, just, just a little bit. Not, you know, not quite at 90, but maybe a 45 degree like that. And then you're gonna bring your dumbbells, and you're gonna bring it out, so it gets the back of the shoulder. Okay, and these are reverse flies. So we are going to tone it back. Remember, so hold it for a second and bring it down slow. We're gonna raise them up, squeeze, and release. Good, beautiful, just like that. Remember that mind-muscle connection is gonna feel harder than what it really is. But you're really utilizing your mind to think, contract, and release. Instead of this, you see people at the gym don't do this. <laughs> They're not working. That's momentum. <laughs> There's a time and a place for momentum. This is not the workout. If you really want to build your nice, amazing arms and you want to sculpt them, you really want to take your time, you want to lift heavy, and you want to make sure you have proper form. Okay? Let's go three more. Good. Two and squeeze. And fine. All right, guys, that was just the warm up. So we are done with the warm up. We are going to take it heavy. So we're going to do a second set. We're going to move through a little faster. All right. So this is your little cue to get ready. I'm going to stay at the same weight. And then we have, two, uh, we have three sets total. I'm going to do one with more, one more with the light weight and two with the heavy weight. So it's four sets total. All right. You just did your warm up. We're on set number two. So let's do this. Okay, lateral side raise. We are going to take our dumbbells, bring them out, and hold, and release. Hold, release. Good. Squeeze that. And it really doesn't matter, I would say, on the reps. You want to make sure, like, if it's a warm-up rep, you want 15 to 20, min uh, 15, 20 minutes, 15 to 20 reps. And if you are trying to do heavier for muscle build building, you want to make sure 8 to 10 reps, okay? I try to go heavier on my arms just because they are skinny and I always like to try to build my arms so that they look fit and toned. So that's my challenge into my 40s. I just want to look and feel my best going into 
46, I'll be 46 in three weeks. And I just, you know, I love to work out, I love to move. And my favorite way of exercising is weight training. <laughs> it just helps sculpt me. So here we go, we got three more. Bring it out for three. Good. Two, last one, and one. Woo! All right, put him down for a second. We're gonna do a little bit of a little dance party for a second before we get to the next workout. I wish I had some music going on. <laughs> you guys feel free to post, uh, put some music, blast it in the background if you want to have music on any of these lives. So that'll work for you, okay? Okay, so we're gonna grab them again. And this time we're doing a bicep curl. Remember, palms face forward, okay? And then you're gonna bring it up and squeeze. Release, bring it up. Squeeze, get that mind-muscle connection, and release. Good, you're doing a good job out there. So I know some of you guys said that you were just getting back into it, congratulations. I am too, actually, I pulled a rib about six weeks ago. I know, strained a rib, pulling a cup out of the cupboard, <laughs> and it set me back for about six weeks. So I myself am just getting back into upper body after six weeks, so I feel the pain. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go five more. Bring it up and squeeze for five. Release. Four. Good. Three, get that squeeze at the top. Two, really slowly. One, give me a good squeeze. And squeeze. Take the weights out of your arms, a little shake, a little shimmy, a little dance party. <laughs> If you, if you hang around the plant chicks, we like to do dance parties. Dance parties in the kitchen. We do dance parties before our lives. So we like to have fun. I just feel like the only component we're missing is some music, don't you? All right, dance party break over. You're gonna grab your weights. And then the next one was, oh, shoulder raises. So let me go back over here. Shoulder raises. So you're gonna bring it up at 90 degrees. Bring them straight up, wrist over the shoulders back to about 90 degrees. You can go a little bit lower and then up. Okay, so here we go. We have 10 more. You guys are doing a good job pushing that up there. Let me know when you're done what weights you used. If you used dumbbells, if you use resistant bands, cans of beans. <laughs> hey, during quarantine, I did not have any weights at my house. So I literally had to use wine and cans of beans for my weights. <laughs> I even used the detergent uh, bottle for squats. I didn't have anything. I was like looking for something heavy to lift at my house. <laughs> All right, just a few more. Good. Two. And then last one. Bring it up and release. All right. How many people we have on here today? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are enjoying the workout because I know people are popping on and off. Hello, hello. Okay, next exercise we're going to do is triceps. <laughs> Let me get the thing going, here we go. All right, so you're gonna bring it back. Remember, you're just gonna squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Make sure your back is flat, your core is tight, that you're not Letting your gut hang, you just want to make sure you contract it and then make sure you squeeze. And none of this stuff, this is not a tricep kickback. <laughs> you want to make sure you have that mind muscle connection, squeeze and release. It's better to go lightweight, okay, with good form than heavy weight in bad form, all right? Even like the greatest bodybuilders of all time, like Jay Cutler, he said, I would rather do it in correct form at a lighter weight than try to show off and go heavy. So even bodybuilder guys say the same thing. This is not about ego. <laughs> this is about building your body. So it doesn't matter if you are Mr. Olympia or a plant chick. <laughs> we want to build lean tone bodies because these bodies are going to get us through life. We only have one body and we really need to take care of it. We often forget about that, so. And you guys, let's face it. We need these arms to hug people when we get out of this quarantine biz, right? <laughs> when this corona thing is over, 
It's like let's build strong arms to hug our friends, hug our family, <laughs> even though we're doing that right now and we're socializing. It's good to get back into it. Okay, last one. We are going to do a bent over our delt raise. Let me move this out of the way real quick. There we go. And then bring it up and squeeze, just like that. So you're going to bend it over almost at a 45 degree if you're at a 90 degree angle. That way you get the back of the delts. Bring it up and squeeze and release. Squeeze, release. So remember that mind muscle connection, when you bring it up, hold it for a second. That way you do that work and then you bring it down slow. Always have control when you bring it down. So none of this stuff, like you're flipping around, you wanna make sure you just bring it up and bring it down. Good. Okay, we're gonna go four more. Woo! I can feel that already. <laughs> this is my first arm workout back in six weeks, so you're witnessing it with me too. It's good to get back into it though. You never appreciate it till you lose it. All right, good. Okay, those are six. So we're gonna grab heavier. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the 10, but we're gonna give it a little bit, give it a little dance here. You guys, I'm taking Dr. B's uh, gut health course and it was so funny, he actually opened up his live with a dance party. I was like, oh my God, I love it. You guys, Jackie and I are all about the dance party. So anytime you can dance, if it, even if no one's watching, it's just yourself, dance. <laughs> Fun dance in front of Amazon, I don't care. <laughs> hey, you only live once, right? Okay, so we're gonna grab the heavier ones. I'm gonna grab the tens. Here's the thing with heavy weights. You may not be able to do as many reps, and that is okay. That's what, that was the whole goal. You want to stick to eight to 10 reps. If it's super heavy, you want to do five reps, five to eight reps. So like I said, reps are important. Everybody's going to be different. You just want to make sure you do it in correct form. All right. If something is too heavy, you are going to go down to a lighter weight. So for instance, my shoulders can't do heavy like my biceps and triceps. I will be using the, the five pounds for that, but I will be using the heavy for my biceps and triceps. Say my dance with my dog. <laughs> I love it, I dance with my dog, my husband, the chair, <laughs> the camera equipment. No. <laughs> okay, so for shoulder stuff, since I'm just getting back in the game, I'm gonna stick to five. But if you can go a little bit heavier, please try to go heavier. Or if you have a resistant band, do your thing. I completely get it. Or if you have the can of beans, it's, it's like, do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> okay. So lateral side raises, we are going to bring it up. I don't want to hit something over here. <laughs> hit my TV. <laughs> All right, let's go. And squeeze, release. Bring it up, squeeze, and release. And know that you can also drop set. So you're probably like, what's a drop set? You can start out with heavy weights. And if it's maybe you only could do three or four reps, drop them. And then you're going to get the lighter weights. And you're going to finish it out. That always works good too when you're trying to build, build up strength. It's always very good. So, and drop sets are actually some of my favorites because I almost get a better burn with drop sets. All right, so we're gonna go six more. Six, bring it down, squeeze up. Woo, I don't know about you, I'm already feeling the burn. Oh my gosh, here we go. No, it's not that heavy, but if you think it's heavy, it's going to be heavy. If you think it's going to be light, it's going to be light. And bring it up. Let's go one more. And up. Hold for a second. Release. Okay. This is where I can pick up my heavy weights now. Okay, bicep curls. So remember, you're going to face it forward. And then you're going to bring it up and squeeze. And release. Squeeze. Release. These almost look bigger than 10 pounds, right? <laughs> These make me look like I'm curling 20s. Feeling strong here. Yeah, it's only 10 pounds. It's just how it looks. All right, here we go. These are great dumbbells to have around the house. So if you can't make it to the gym or some gyms aren't open or you're not comfortable going to the gym right now during our pandemic, then you can always do a heavy workout, arm workout from home, and so you can grab yourself the lumpy carousel below. They have these dumbbells, and I actually ordered these off of Amazon during the pandemic. I'm like, I need more than 
lifting my dog who was seven pounds, right? <laughs> so I bought some of these. And let's go two more and one more, bring it up, and squeeze and release. Good. All right, we're going to shimmy it real quick because we have our next exercise. All right, you guys ready? Like I said, you can always drop set. You can grab the heavier weight, start with it, and then go to smaller. So we're going to do shoulder presses. Bring it up, release, and up. Good. I love shoulder presses. It's actually one of my favorite of exercises. There's a couple exercises of arms. It's not biceps, it's not triceps. I like triceps are my least favorite because they're so hard. <laughs> I like shoulder work. I don't know. But you have to let me know what kind of work do you like best. Is it the bicep? Is it the tricep? Is it your shoulders? You gotta let me know. All right. And you can hear I'm getting winded. You should be getting winded too. If something is super hard, let me give you a little word of advice. I know I'm talking, kind of instructing, but you want to breathe in on the way down. <sighs> breathe out on the way up. Anytime there's exertion, you want to breathe out, okay? <sighs> Breathing in, <sighs> breathe out. Good. You guys are doing really, really good. Let's do a few more. Give it a good burnout. Two, last one, and one. You guys, I can totally feel that. Okay, so we're gonna grab triceps, and this is my least favorite. <laughs> I probably will drop set this. So I'm going to grab the 10 pounds, see what I can do, and then I'm going to go grab the five after that. So we're going to bend over, keep your core tight, you're going to look down, and you're going to squeeze it back and release. Squeeze and release. And of course, these are already getting heavy on rep number four. <laughs> All I'm going to try to do as much as I can on this one, keeping it slow. And controlled, remember, no swinging. You're not trying to get to the exercise. You're trying to carve and build and drop this a beautiful body. Remember, you gotta hug people when we're done with this pandemic. We're building to hug people. <laughs> Give those strong hugs. Don't you love it when someone comes up to you and they have a really, really warm, strong hug? You're like, wow, that person is a good hugger. And I know I think that sometimes when you just go to meet somebody and you hug, you're like, ah, oh, okay, hey, hey. But then all of a sudden somebody hugs you and you're like, wow, that person, just like a handshake. They have a powerful hug. So, you know, hugging releases endorphins in your brain. So, hugging is really good for you. All right, few more. We're going to go four more. Squeeze it out. And four. Bring it back. Three. Squeeze for two. And one. Good job. Good job to me, too. Pat on the back. <laughs> All right, so shaking it out after that. Now we're going to do our bent over lateral side raises. So we're going to bend over and bring it out. Good. So we're going to get the rear delts, back of the shoulders. Good. These are one of those exercises that you really want to focus on. It's really hard to go heavy on this one, so you have to drop your weights. That's okay. I know what that's like. Bring it down. Woo! Burn, baby, burn. I love these workouts because I get to work out with you, number one. <laughs> and number two, it just gets you back into the swing of working out. So even though I actually did spin this morning on my Peloton, that felt good. So you always want to try to mix it up. Last one. And one. Woo! All right, so let's go ahead and grab a drink of water. I should have said that in the beginning. Anytime you feel like you need to have a drink of water, grab your water. So this right here, Hydro Flask, love it. Do you guys have one? It's kind of comparable to a Yeti, but I think better. These are kind of, they come in these fun colors and stuff. I don't know if Yeti does, but I absolutely love these Hydro Flasks, I have in every color. Even my husband has them. And they keep your, your water cold. This water is still cold. We're almost 30 minutes in. Okay. 
last set of amazing arms. You ready to get that pump on? <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so we are gonna do lateral slide raises. Let me get this out of the way really quick. Here we go. Try to go as heavy as you can. We only want you to do eight to 10 reps on this one. So you're gonna bring it up, squeeze, release. Bring it out and release. Good, as you just lift those arms, feel that squeeze in the shoulder and release. You're gonna lift them up again. It's like, remember, just think about lifting groceries. How many times have you like, I've, I've went from a house to an apartment, so I try to make sure I put all the groceries on my arms <laughs> and walk like a mile back to my apartment with like 10 bags of groceries on each arms. I mean, yeah, on both arms, it's like, ugh, it's brutal. So I'm building to get heavy groceries. Every time I go, I can't seem to get the one or two things on my list. I seem to get like 20, 30, 50, <laughs> and I leave out of there anywhere from two to four bags. Okay, last one in, squeeze and release. Woo! All right, we're going straight into the next one. Bicep curls. Grab your heavier ones or keep with what you have. You're gonna have palms up. Make sure you have great form. Keep your abs tight. Bring the shoulder blades back up. C, chest up. And squeeze, release. Remember, no swinging, take out the swing. If you notice yourself swinging, you want to make sure you want to go a little bit lighter. Remember, lighter weight in correct form is better than heavy weight in horrible form. Or you're not going to be able to build and sculpt the way you want to be sculpted. All right. And actually, every exercise we've been doing has been secretly working your core. So me standing up, keeping my core tight, I'm actually engaging my core, which works my core. So I love that. Even though you think you're doing arms, <laughs> you're actually doing your core. You're actually doing a lot of little mini muscles. Let's go for a couple more. Bring that down. I'm already feeling winded. It's kind of like sometimes when you lift heavy weights, it is like, it's like doing cardio, you know? All right, so grab the weights you see fit because the next exercise we're going to do is shoulder press. All right, so we're going to bring it up. Make sure your core is tight. Remember, no swinging. I don't want to see any of this stuff. You want to make sure you lift it just straight up. Bring it down to a 90 degree and up. So slow and controlled. That way you have the mind-muscle connection. And we build amazing arms. That's what you're here for. You came on Amazon Live today to build amazing arms. I'm so glad you joined me. Oh, this feels good to get back into it. So I know if you guys are getting back into it, welcome back. If you are super strong and this is nothing for you, make sure you get heavier weights. All right. Oh, let's do two more. And two. And one. Woo. Okay, triceps. Let's do this. We're going to grab it. So we're going to bring it back. Here we go. 90 degree and kick. Slow and controlled. Bring it out and kick. And these feel so painful when you squeeze it out. Squeeze and release. We're gonna squeeze all that inflammation out, right? <laughs> it's like you're definitely wringing out a towel. That's what I feel like every time I do triceps. Okay, so these are too heavy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the fives and then squeeze. Bring it back and release. All right, we've got a few more of these. Remember, it's always mind-muscle connection, slow and controlled. You never regret a workout that you didn't do. We know this. All right, and you should too. You should be breathing a little bit as well. Not as winded as me because I'm talking <laughs> and exercising, but that's good. If you're talking and you're winded, that's pretty good. That is a good workout. All right. Last exercise of the day. We are going to bring it out. We're going to, remember, you're going to bend over just like this. And you're going to do lateral side raises. Keep your core tight. You want to just make sure, try not to bring it up like this. Make sure your neck, you have good lumbar 
control your lumbar, your cervical vertebrae, everything is in a long line looking forward. All right, we got a few more. Let's go for five. So bring it up for five. Release. And four. You got this. We got three more. Two more. Bring it up and squeeze. Last one. We're going to squeeze it for two seconds. And hold. Two. Release. Yes. Okie doke. <laughs> All right. So that was amazing arms. Pretty easy. I hope you guys had a decent arm workout. If you're just getting back into it, this is great for beginners. If you are advanced, you're definitely going to want to get a heavier dumbbell or maybe you do resistant bands because I know resistant bands are just as effective as dumbbells. So, I mean, I feel like I got a pretty good pump on. Do you? <laughs> Again, guys, just know that everything is below my entire outfit for today, my dumbbells, everything. Let's see Amazon. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm sore. Well, you might be sore later on. It may not be right, right away. Thank you for joining me in today's workout. I super, super appreciate it. Tomorrow, join me live in my kitchen. I do meal prep with Marcia, where I make amazing meals, plant-based meals that are easy peasy to make. That way you are eating healthy. So you've done all this great hard work in your home <laughs> with some weights. You want to make sure you fuel yourself with the right food. So please join me tomorrow at noon central time in my kitchen and I will see you then. So have a great day, Amazon, and thank you for joining me.